Hey folks, Ben from Snowy today. I've got the Sawyer Micro Squeeze water filter. Get it. This little filter's got a small and compact design, perfect for hiking and travel. It removes almost all of the nasties out of your drinking water for safe trips. It integrates easily with most bottles with a standard 28 millimeter thread. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. Now your micro squeeze filter comes with all of this gear here that we'll run through shortly, but altogether it weighs about 130 grams. But the filter itself, which is this unit, here weighs about 51 grams and that's with this little cap on top here measures about 10 centimeters by about four centimeters so nice and compact and a perfect addition if you just want something to add to bottles that you're uh, using for hiking or particularly for travel just a bit of a tour around the unit um it the flow goes from this way through to the top here so if i unscrew this um you can see there's a thread on the top there uh, an outlet here and an inlet there so the water is pushed through this way through the filter and out the top here. And this little cap here just creates a little drinking spout, I suppose, to turn. If you add that on top of the bottle, which I'll show you shortly, bottle underneath, it turns it into just a sippy bottle, I suppose. Now, in the middle here, underneath here, is a enclosed, um, the soy is enclosed microfiber or hollow fiber filter. So there's lots of little fibers in there where the water comes in this side enters those fibers is squeezed through small pores to the outside and comes out this end as safe drinking water. And it'll make about, well, it filters down to about well, 0.1 micron is what they say. And it's absolute micron. So there's not various sizes of microns. All the microns are 0.1 micron. They also claim that their microfiber filter is about 75% stronger than most. So they last much longer and they're tested about three times, I think three times before they leave the factory, each of these. So they are made to be safe. So the flow rate is 22 to 32 liters per hour, which equates to about 300 to 500 milliliters per minute. That's sucking it out the top there. So in that, even though it's a slower flow rate than just drinking straight out of a bottle, it gives you water that's gonna protect you from all the protozoa and bacteria that's gonna make you sick. Well, when I say all, 99.99%, they can never claim all of it, um, but it also removes all the microplastics out of the water. So it's gonna make any drinking water out of a tap or anything that's reasonably clean water already safe to drink out of the bottle. Now you can use this filter in a number of ways. You're not just restricted to one. It's so ideally on top of a bottle is good, but you could actually firstly use it as an inline filter. So take the little cap off the top um, and you could attach this if you've got say a backpack with your hydration bladder in it, you've got the hose coming out. You'd have to cut the hose, attach the hose on one end here, one end here, making sure you've got this the right way around. So in on this end, out on this end. Attach the other end of the hose here to the side that you're drinking from and you'd sip water through it as you're hiking. So you could actually filter as you go. Now you get a few other items with your kit. We'll start with the, the, the bottle here. So you could fill this with a one liter bottle or collapsible bottle. Fill this with dirty water if you like. Screw this on the top and you've now got a filtration system that you can put in your bag. Sip straight out the top here, suck the water straight out of the bottle here, and you can drink safe water and just have the dirty water in the bottom here. Alternatively, you could tip this upside down and squeeze that into a glass or a bottle if you like, so you can decant it into something that you know is clean. Now you also get a few other items with this. So this is a straw that you can attach on the bottom here and then use this as a filter straw to drink from a glass if you like. So if you've got a glass in a cafe, put the straw on the bottom here, put that into the glass and just sip straight out of it like that from, from the water. So you're not touching the glass, should the glass be washed with something um, that could make you sick. A few other bits that you get, uh, there's a cap for the bottle here and inside that cap is a spare gasket to replace the gasket that goes in underneath here to make sure that stays sealed. You also get a coupling loop here. Now this uh, enables you to, uh, there's two ways you can back flush this. So I'll take a step back in my description here. You can clean this out. So when I talk about the flow rate being 300 to 500 milliliters per minute, that'll get blocked up and slow down. As it slows down, you can force water back through the other way to clear it out. It's field maintainable. You can do that in two ways. Firstly, with a syringe here, fill the syringe up with clean water put it on the drinking end of the filter here and force the water through the filter out the other side. And what you're doing is back flushing all the dirt out of the filter. Make sure you dispose of this water. Another way you can do it is by using this coupling link here. If we screw this onto the filter here, we can use our bottle here with this thread, it'll screw on there, or these threads are compatible with any standard, uh, this is a 1.25 litre soft drink bottle, 
that will screw on there as well. So I can now back flush the water through there, squeeze the water through there to clear it out. I can then use this bottle if I like to drink from as well, because it's the same thread on the bottom there. So I can attach this bottle here. So if you're just using disposable bottles while you're traveling or hiking, you can leave this on top of the bottle like this. We'll put our little sippy cap back on top there. And I've now got a bottle with a filter on top that I can sip straight out of. So plenty of different uses for the Sawyer filter. The filter itself has got a, a life of, uh, it's in gallons because it's a US product, uh, about 100,000 gallons, which equates in liters to about 378,000 liters of water through this unit before uh, you're gonna have to throw it out. You don't really replace the filter, that this is the whole filter, so you just buy a new one when you get there, but 378,000 liters of water is a lot of water to get through in all your adventures, so it's gonna last you a very long time. An awesome little product, perfect if you want something particularly just to attach to the top of a bottle, to sip straight from whatever vessel you, you carry with you on your adventures or your travels. That's the Sawyer Micro Squeeze Filter. Check them out online at snowies.com.au.